Welcome to Tuesday's Tips and Tales with Cece and Cordy live. What up? <laughs> Don't be poking me. That's for after the show. We made it through Mardi Gras, right? We did. Uh, as uh, as gay as I uh, looked and felt, we made it through. We made it through. That felt good. Who had a hangover out there? Did you? Have oh my hangover? God. Did you? you? I, my drink I like, but yours. <laughs> Try the cheers. Cheers. To the new show. Yeah. So it's Lent. What did you give up? Lent. <laughs> you gave up Lenting things. You gave up Lent. Uh, I used to my usual. I try to, you know, it's not. It's probably not really big anymore. I mean, I used to give up like sweets and stuff. So I guess I still do that. But uh, I have resolved to do one nice thing. Try to do one nice thing a week because the the church now really says. Would that be showing up here? The, I, this is my penance, <laughs> as the little word says. So do what you don't want to do. Um, no, the, the church now is really like the giving up thing is kind of passe. It's kind of ran its course, right. so now it's really like, if you can go out of your way, do like some community service, or just do something really nice, or make up with nice. an old friend, that is as good as giving up stuff, so okay. I'm trying to do that kind of stuff. Is that like making out, making out with an old friend? I can make it out with an old friend. <laughs> You're an old friend. Hey! Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm very young, very young at heart. So everybody um, out there hopefully is... Doing some good during this Lenten season. <laughs> you know where you're in that sentence. Hope everybody out there is doing Everything. something nice. Right. So, um, but yeah, so that's the that's the whole cool. thing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. What about you? Same thing. You try just, to be nice. You know, just try to I, just try to be a good person. I, I think that's the bottom line. No more, you know. No more, no more bad person. <laughs> no more robbing banks. As opposed to the rest of the year, where you're like. Yeah, no stealing, smoking pot, you know, <laughs> selling weed. Yeah, flipped that. off everybody, Whatever. ran into yeah, people. Everybody. You know, drive without Shoved swearing. Shoved them over the ground. Drive without swearing. Oh, that I'm can never happen. I learned how to drive in Boston, and Dude, it's I'm, always, I'm, the finger is everywhere. You kidding me? I'm, I'm swearing in my driveway. I'm, I'm cursing people out before <laughs> no. I even get to the street. I'm like beeping the horn. I see a guy at a stop sign waiting finger. too long. I'm already, I'm, I'm already insane. I'm like, Dude, if that guy doesn't go right now, I'm going to plow into him and kill him. That's how much I hate. Don't you everybody. want to just like run into somebody? Oh, <laughs> I want those big like the, the like the co like the cop cars that have the big extra yeah. bumper to really to push people and they can snow. But I just want them just to ram people in the second gear. Just boom, boom. Okay. There it is. Get it. Get up to thirty miles an hour. Can we do? Can we roll you down the hill? Could you imagine if everybody had a bumper car, like a bumper on their car? <sighs> so like. <laughs> I think I would have, I would I would have the that. world record. Just to like, see somebody. You know that bummer card when you hear somebody get in a corner and you didn't like the guy to begin with? You're like, oh, it's on now. Like, you press that gas and you still only went, <laughs> but you still were like, you try to press it even further down. Just like, this guy, oh. <laughs> you were so excited to hit that guy and bam! It didn't really give you all that much pleasure, but it, it a little something. And then you moved on with your life. I totally wanted to run so many people out oh, there. There should be little bumper cards. You should actually pick up, you should be able to, Listen, God should be able, in his wisdom, be able to pick out like four people in a day who you really didn't like, <laughs> and you should be able to all meet up at 7 o'clock at the bumper car place and just bang the go crap ahead. out of each other, Absolutely. and you can go to bed happy, stress-free. Right. I would love that. How about the people who purposely slow down? Purposely. Once they know you're on their tail, they purposely slow down, and you're like, are you kidding me? That's not the people I hate. The people I hate, there's, oh, two, there's two major people. I hate them. Two major people I hate. The people, one... Well, they're pulling out on the side street, and you're coming here like gangbusters. And they race out to beat you because they want to get ahead. They're like, oh, i got to get ahead of that person. But then they go two miles an hour. It's like, why did you get out quickly just to slow me down? If you waited like an eighth of a second, I would have passed you, and you could have gone as slow as you wanted to. You really couldn't wait an eighth of a second? And then the other one is the people who not slow down, but they slow down to the green light. I want to kill those people. <laughs> like it's going to eventually turn red, so I might as well slow down now. My like, go! Oh, you have a green car. Might as well just. Oh, I mean, it's like they're literally like they see the green light. They're like, oh, we got to stop now because it's going to turn red eventually. I'm going to be paranoid about it. I don't want to get a ticket. I'm it's the like, one wait, who you races. You see the red, the yellow, and the green. I see green and I race. Like exactly. I'm like, I go like 80 miles an hour. I'm like I'm 50 and I'm like I need to get through this. The right? best one is I want to move to Montreal. You know why? Because they have the blinking green, which shows you it's going to turn yellow red soon. So that's when I you can accelerate. I love that. Give me the blinking green so I know I can. Now I gotta that. really go. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. It's like it's it's a steady green. Then it goes to blinking green, letting you know it's gonna it's gonna change soon. So that's when you hit the gas and go. Wow. Bang. You're like. I love that. Give I'm, me the blinking green. Come on, America. Let's get with the times. Canada's way ahead of us. I think I just goes, picked the right subject to get you riled up. <laughs> oh man, I hate road rage is a killer. <laughs> I hate everybody. 
I hate everyone. And tonight was the first night. Actually, tonight I gotta be. I should be happy tonight. Wow. He's because like... tonight I actually came from my place to your place with almost nobody in front of me, which never happens. Oh my gosh, you're, that's like a mile away. Oh, it was so nice to go down your street and not have anybody. Just like I can't wait to get to Wawa. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> I'm like, really, man? Like, what are you getting a shorty and you have no time? I, I, know, I know that 90% of the people around here are all married people who don't want to go home. That's why they're going two miles an hour. They just don't want to get to their home. They hate their family. They hate their kids, whatever. You know, I'm single. I love my life. Let me get around you and go enjoy my things while you go hate your life. I don't think I've ever picked a subject to bring <laughs> up that actually caused this much emotion out of Corey. And scene. Breathe. And scene. Breathe. Click. So, great weekend. Great weekend. I heard the word on the street. Corey was amazing you at have been there. You really should have been there. Valley Forge Casino, the vault. How do you know I wasn't? Oh. Mm -hmm. I had all my little spies out. Oh, uh, yeah. You probably were there somewhere, maybe, but not really. But probably had, like, a periscope that was, like, three miles long where you could, like, out of your house, you could kind of see what's going on. Do you have, like, a big periscope out of your house? I do. I have <laughs> drones, actually. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> the Corey drone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> follow like Corey. It. Follow Corey. Like swat down. Yeah. Know. So heard it, it was, was uh, right. very successful for you. So those who were you there both nights or just one night? Just the one night. Yeah, I had my yeah. own, I had another show down in the city, uh, second night. But yeah, to Where those who that? came out, thank you. To those who didn't come out, up yours. You should have been there. I don't care if you're in Connecticut, people, or South Carolina, whatever the hell you are, or a rock star, whatever your friend's name is. You should have been there. Rock star. Who's Rockstar? The woman who's a rockstar down in like... Uh, oh, Angela. She's yeah, awesome. We gotta get her up here. Yeah, exactly. There's a hot piece of tushy right there. So... It was great. A lot of fun. It was almost both sold out shows. It was a uh, great when time. When are you going back? Soon. He's already okay, said he's going to be let us soon, know. I want to go, go back next. I want to like... I'm, a I wanna soul headliner. It. Yeah. And we'll see if that happens. So maybe you Excellent. come that time. Well maybe done. You have the weekend to yourself. You can go enjoy it a little bit. Yeah. I'll get you a front row seat. Wow. Drink some cocktails? Maybe I'll pee on you. I don't know. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I know. It's like, you know, you go to these comedy shows, and I'm the type of person that said, wants, pick me, pick me, pick me. Yeah, and some people are like... Yeah. Yeah. There, there's so, definitely did you pick that, on some people? I did. But there's definitely people that... Yeah, for sure. Like, that's a... I mean, I get that though. They want to go in comedy and enjoy themselves, so that's okay. I don't mind people coming in and saying we really don't want to be picked on, but we want to, you know, have enjoy themselves. As long as they can go and enjoy the show, I'm fine. But I've seen people say I don't want to be picked on. They go in a corner and they don't laugh at anything, and that really pisses me off. It's like, why'd you come at all? <laughs> you don't want to be picked on. You don't want to laugh. Because they're miserable. They're, that's why they have bowling alleys. Okay, you know, go kill yourself, <laughs> hang yourself, whatever you're gonna do, but don't come to my show. Well, I don't doubt that you didn't have um, uh, a very uh, active crowd and very mm. uh, interested crowd because you're a pretty funny guy. It was, and you were going to have to get there at some point. So yeah, so it's um, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I had the kid weekend. Oh, kid weekend. How'd that work out for you? It was great. Really? It was great. Kid's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that's why you hear all about it. <laughs> it's like a playdate central. Oh, we're going to do a show on single parents. Uh, we're going to do a show on single parents because the I the amount of balls you have to juggle and in between there's a ton of alcohol. Juggle balls. Like uh, you the minute those kids go to the other parent you're like get me a drink now. <laughs> Please. Exactly. Um it is unbelievable. I I give kudos to all those single parents out there. It's a juggling act it for is. sure. It definitely yeah. is. So, yeah, it was an awesome weekend. I have nothing really to brag, you know, to talk about brag about. I didn't put on a comedy show or anything like that. What was the but best thing you did with your daughter this weekend? The best thing I did with her. You know what? We just like, we just hang out. We cook together, you know? And she's becoming, I don't know if you saw my Facebook post, but I was like, Giada, look out. Samantha's in the house. So she's becoming very, very interested in cooking. And uh, it's like, it was like Playdate Central. You know, it's, it's like, Mom, can I do this? Can I do that? And then, you know, we did, oh my gosh, we actually cooked dinner and had movie night. Yeah. So anyways, let's get on to like the, let's get on to why we're here tonight. Should we do this one first? Well, so tonight we're going to talk about, we're going to do a truth or dare. Well, not really a dare, but I decided it was time that we asked each other questions that were not normally asked by co-hosts, hosts, and hosts, and hosts, and... I want to see, um, I'd like to hear from some people out there to see if they want to ask us some questions.
questions or email us, but we're going to pull from this little bucket in just a little bit after Corey talks about exes. Yes. Why we go back. My truth or dare to you. Why do we go back? Have you ever paid for sex or take your top off? <laughs> I've never paid for sex. Oh, come yes, on. I have taken my top off. <laughs> Internationally and in the U.S. of A. Um, so here's, um, we were talking about some exes and some regressions that you have. And Regressions. Yeah. That like, means. Namely. <laughs> when you're why like, you go back? why did I break up? Or, why ooh, I'm drunk, let's have a booty call. It's, it's, I think it's just a combination of like you just go back. Like you, you, you yo yo. Why do you yo yo? Is and it I'm because not, like I you mean, can't get anything else or like felt, you just want to hook up with somebody and then go with somebody? It was somebody like else? the Elaine Putty thing, you know, it's like you hate each other and then you still go back. And <laughs> Angry then, sex. And Seinfeld made the good point. It's like, you know, it's like trying to knock over a soda machine. You can't just push it right over. It's got to like rock it back and forth right. and then it goes over. But, so why does that happen? But um, you also go back when it knocks over. Because somebody. <laughs> So, well, because if they on your foot, you've got to lift it up a little bit, and then you take your foot so, out. So or a all, soda pops out, and like, ooh. We've all been there. It's like you're with yeah. somebody, and even though it's toxic, which I'm sure yours has... And some people have been, some people are attracted to the toxicness. This, this, totally. This. It's hot for the them. Drama. The drama. Drama. The drama. Drama and drama. 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 And you go back because you're like, either, wow, that was what? Great sex, or that was like, oh, I missed <laughs> that person, or I snuggling. No, not snuggling. Well, interesting you break that up, so let's get okay. to the top let's 10 go. reasons why you go back. To the X. To the X. And you actually mentioned, I already mentioned one of them, but that's oh, actually number sorry. two. The number one reason is nostalgia. Nostalgia? Uh, if, yeah, no. If you want to return to the good old days, you know, do something different. That's what they're saying. But don't use nostalgia as a reason to run back in the arms of somebody because there was good times and bad times, and we tend to remember the good times when we break up, and you forget the bad times, and then when you get together, then you remember the bad times, and that's why you break up again, but you keep going back. So basically, you're going back of, because you've been together for a long time and have done lots of things. Right. But wow. you kind of run back to the, you, you just kind of remember the good times. There's a comfort zone. Yeah, a comfort right? zone. So I guess the okay. nostalgia is also comfort. You know? mm -hmm. Number two is? Sex. There you go. Because they were I good I can't believe sex was the number one. Uh, your I ex? think people go back when people are even... even so it's Stop true that bed. because you have that familiarity, you also have familiarity with in bed. You guys know what each other liked, what each other didn't like. So you have that when you want sex, you want it the right way. That's an <laughs> easy way to do it because it's like, well, I know her, his, okay. you know, turn ons and turn offs. So I know what I can do. Like, I know I can. And their I can, toys. Well, it's like it's like I know I can kiss him this way and he likes it. I can throw two fingers up there and he likes it. You know, whatever it is, whatever you do. Back door. Whatever you like. For those whatever who that like little, the back door. A little kink, a little kinky With stuff. Kinky, yeah, because there's some crazy kinky people out there. And, it's, and, and they're not everywhere. That might apparently. be the other reason to go back is because maybe your, kinky. your kinks you kink? may not match up with a new person's kinks, and you want to go back to the old one because you know that that person was also into kinks, so that's what it is. So. There's like a kinky aware. social circle that isn't like out there. You have to find them. You have to hunt them down. Are you kinky? I got some kinks. <laughs> I think everybody has a little kink, but there's like, there's like uh, Fifty and then, Shades and there's like, kink or what's that? Fifty Shades of Grey kink. Uh, I don't know if I get that. In you don't have kink. a room with. I don't dedicate a whole room, but no, I don't, it's not like that's my You just got goal. the handcuffs on the bed? I, I just got the leather mask with a zipper just because they don't <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> it's like, the safety word's been there, zip, there you go. <laughs> you know, shut the hell up. Uh, <laughs> Number three? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there's like, you know, there's like up the butt kinky and then there's like garden variety kinky. We're so still talking about number three. So if you want if you want garden variety kinky, there's like a lot of that, but there's also like, you know, crazy kinky too. It's, it's all what you like. Uh, number three is you've changed. Ooh. Meaning that uh, maybe you're in a bad place, you weren't really good when you first dated, and now you know you're in a better place and you figured now it's gonna be better because you've resolved your issues, she's resolved her issues, maybe she, you know, whatever, she was fighting with it's another ex she. or there's some bad stuff, and he was being a jerk and fooling around, maybe he's focused now. Who knows? So, you know, what I found in the divorce world is that, um, and I'll, for both the men and the women, um, for the men, I feel like, you know, they've been wiped out by their ex financially, and it affects them in so many different ways. So they have to rebuild their lives financially and emotionally, because a lot of them are tied emotionally to their money. 
So they've changed. They're not ready for that relationship, even though they love that person. So they go do, they break up, they go do their thing. And hopefully that girl is there when they get back for the women. Not, and I'm not generalizing, but I hear these stories. Mm -hmm. So the woman gets cheated on. No, no, not me. Oh, the oh, for I, oh, I, the I you, you called me out, but now it's now it's oh, the reverse, the listen. reverse gender bias where he's the cheater. No, no, okay. no. Let's just say I'm just saying what sometimes both men and women can do this. They're cheated on, and then the, they're they get divorced, and then they're just like hookers. Like, I What's mean, your name again? <laughs> no, they're like, you know what? I need to go out and sell my oats, like that kind of thing. So, because I think that emotionally, Happens. yeah. So, when it comes to change, there's this transition period. I'm just speaking from divorcees where um, you change dramatically. That first year is like a crapshoot. It is, it definitely I mean, is. totally. But then when you're in a different relationship, it's always, I can imagine there's so many things that play a part, like finances and. Being attracted to somebody else, and like, ooh, there's the grass is greener. <laughs> ooh. Let's go mow the lawn. Um, okay. Number four number is four? they've changed. So you've changed oh. for the better. Now they've, they've changed, changed for the better. And do you ever have this happen to you? Like, you haven't seen that person in like a year, and you run into them at like a restaurant, a bar, or an event, and then you're like, damn, she looks good. And that's when you go back. That's, that's when you. you that's back. when that thing starts to rock and comes back again. And yeah. Yeah, and then they want nothing to do with you, and then you want them more. Yep. Well, that's that, that could be worse. Sometimes <laughs> you, you see each other and you both look better, and boom, you get right at it. Right. Or one person looks better, and the other person's like, no. Like I'm all the psycho, kills all the psycho tendencies are gone, and all of a sudden you're like, you yeah, know. bad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's the thing. They, and then it, you wake up the next day and you're like, all right, we're done. I'll it emphasizes again. that people don't ever change. So be people very People don't change. Like when women or men get possible. married. It's possible. It's but slim. it's not usually But the when case. you get married and you're thinking, oh, I'll change him or I'll change her. Eh, eh, it's not going to happen. They are who they are. They are who they are. you got to accept them. Everybody has to accept, accept each Accept the problems. For idiosyncrasies, craziness, and kinkiness. Oh, this is very mean line. This next oh. one five. Mm. Oh, I'm peeking yeah. at my stuff. Ram. I'm peeking at my junk. Oh, I have a dog in my. <laughs> I have an animal in your. You damn right you do. Um, your family wants it. That's very mean line. So it's oh like, oh my little, god, who would do that? Like, little Billy and little Muffy were like perfect together, and they would make a great wedding. So you would the, get together for that? I don't think I would, but I know people definitely do. I think a couple of my cousins and friends have gotten married because it's like no. they were supposed to get married and the family wanted. No, yeah. no, absolutely. That's wrong. Absolutely. No, it's not. I'm and not saying it's right or wrong. On each other. I'm saying that's the deal. Right. That is the deal. Um, so yeah, it is like the family is like, oh, you know, like they're so good together and blah 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 blah. blah. And then so they the end up cheating on each other. I'm right? not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that these are the reasons. Stop yelling at my fan. Stop yelling at my phone. I'm just saying. It's, I know it's not the right reason, but that's the way it goes. Uh, right, this, is not, this is not all judgment. Right. What's zone. the next one? Number what? What do we have? You had amazing chemistry. What's that? Number five? Number six. But uh, doesn't that go in line with... No, I guess that's the same thing. Like, you know, you like had sex? the same sense of humor. There was maybe some other reason oh, why you broke up. Like the same sense of humor. Yeah, like you just... Interests and... You could finish the other sentences. You both want to go to the same art museum. You both are into music. But for whatever crazy right. reason, there's a breakup. So that chemistry probably goes back to number one, which is like the comfortable. You know, you had the same chemistry. I think chemistry it ties in with one and two. Yeah. The comfortable, nostalgia, and sex. Sex. Well, yeah. everything ties in with sex. Yeah. Everything ties in with number two. Everything's, yeah. Uh, number seven, you don't think anyone... Oh, else? we have a visitor. Susan. Hey, Susan, how are you? We're just talking about the ten reasons why you go back to your ex. She's going to stay with her. Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on number what? Seven. So seven, seven is you don't, think, you don't think anyone else will love you. That's, oh, that's, that's my pathetic. Issue. That's my issue. Oh, my God, please. No one's going to love me again. Mm, not me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you love me for five minutes. That's all that matters. That's all that I didn't need a Well, six. that's all it takes. No one. Give or take four minutes. Yeah, well. Whatever it was. Uh, but yes, you don't, I mean, you have that insecurity when you break up that, oh my God, I broke up. It's going to be so hard to find somebody and you get a lonely. Lot of people going through separation do that. They get back together because they realize that that out there is like met, the big donut, you know, when. Yeah, I met somebody who actually got married, divorced, and then married again. Like I actually met that person who did that. But they have a great marriage it. now, right? What's that? They have a great marriage? They're, they're okay. Second marriage. Yes, it's the second time around, and they're, so, they're good, not great, but they're good. I think yeah. it's okay to have a second marriage when it's the same person. <laughs> I think it's okay to have a second or third marriages. I'm not, oh, I'm sure. not passing judgment, but 
It's interesting to hear those stories. He's like, I know, I love this song. Um, you, right, so you don't think anybody would love you, so it may take some dates to get through it. They actually called it an OK Cupid account, <laughs> call oh it get it there, or matchmaker, but something, but you'll find other love, you can work through it. But they give you reasons how to get through it, but that's... I mean, there's so many apps out there, you don't have to ever worry about being alone. Seriously, you just have to make sure nobody's, like... Somebody will love you. Slices your You can even rent somebody to love you. Or send your bed or something. Just just lease with option to buy. That's what you need to do. Just watch out for the roofies, girls. Right. Just watch out. No, I like those. (laughs) No, you use them. Roofie collab. So here's the thing. So, number eight, you're bored. That happens. Oh, come on. People get bored. I would people never no life. go back with an ex because I was bored. People have no life. Never. There's some people that literally have no life. They get together with somebody and that was their life. Their life was the why only can't person. You, all right, get, going back to number two, why can't you just do like ex with benefits? They have friends with benefits. That's what I want. <laughs> why can't I get that? Can I just have an ex with benefits? Because somebody gets attached. Yeah, I know. They love me. I said, wait, wait, can't, you know, I, I wish I wasn't so damn charming. Can I just not be so charming and oh so lovable? God. Is it my own fault? Prince Charming, I'm going to call him. <laughs> Is it my fault that I'm just so great? Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's why the do- my dog likes they me. They don't want to burn my house down. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so, the car is wanting to crash into him. But this brings up your full point. It's like, this is no, don't go back because you're bored, but <laughs> this is exactly, it's funny that you say that. You must be cheating. I'm Cause, not cheating. Because the first thing they say is, find an FWP. Friends with benefits. Find that person. And necessary. you can find that person anywhere mm-hmm. online. I mean, anywhere. They're there. Right? Okay. Number nine, you just have a feeling. This is a tricky one. I said, just something from chemistry, and That's okay. you kind of have that feeling that it was right and that you should go back, and maybe you made the wrong decision. So like, it's like. Hooked on a feeling? Hooked on a feeling. Which way choose? That's what they're saying. Is that who sings that? Yeah. Um, so, I am believing. So they actually say that you get this feeling sometimes comes over you. That's probably goes. That's probably this tiny ties in. Harp singer. It's no problem. You go. Um, what they say was. That's what my daughter does. They said just don't. Whatever you do, don't drink wine and watch the Notebook, and that's what's going to get you that feeling back. I mean, like we were so good together. We. I gotta give them a call. See, that's what happens. You do that. Don't do that, ladies. And for guys, don't watch like Roadhouse and be like, I gotta get some chick that's gonna, you know, bang me on a rooftop. <laughs> don't do that either. So, it's bad on both sides. Uh, Last but not least, mm-hmm. it's convenient, of course. Oh, that's like it's saying you're a slut. Pretty much. <laughs> on the male and on? female There's side, one. you would like to be a slut. Though. I would love to be a slut. You would. Nobody you should are a slut. Uh, so yeah, just like try not to get a convenient thing. Go make some friends. Like, go make your friends. Go out and do things. Get hobbies. Go run with a group. Whatever. A book club. Something just to take your mind off of it and don't make it convenient. Go go stretch yourself. So there's this. Have you heard of Meetup Philly? Yeah. There's Meetup everywhere. There's like. In fact. A like lot. a thousand different clubs that you can join, and yeah. people like. So I went on there just to like actually hook up with some like business opportunities and whatnot, and guys were like, "Hey, what are you?" I'm hey, like, yo, hey, no, yo, no, no, hey, no, 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 no. No, but you know what? There's when I go around the country, when I've done Hartford and like Milwaukee, uh-huh. and Florida, there's meetup groups that actually do comedy shows. Really? They meet up for like a happy hour and they go right to a Friday night comedy. It's more Friday nights than Saturday nights because they do meet up for like a happy hour and they go right to the show at like seven eight o'clock. So it's great. So yes, do the meetup thing. You can meet a bunch of people that have the same interests. Especially if you're new to a new area. That's great. It is. It's really great. Or you're lonely or, you know, don't go back to that ex for the wrong reasons. I mean, only the right reasons. Is there really a right reason on that list? I don't know. (laughs) Is there a right reason? (laughs) To go back to your ex? Maybe it, the only thing I the only uh, that top you'd have 10, to tie a few of them together. To right, I I could say I think you should eliminate all except for one. I think that is if you really didn't have that chemistry, but there was some Absolutely. crazy reason that you broke up. It doesn't have to be sex. The sex is gonna is gonna leave you, and the other stuff is gonna kind of wash away. Right. So the biggest thing is the chemistry. If there really was a good chemistry, but there was some hiccup somewhere for some crazy reason, then I think you get back together. I think that would be the reason to go back. So going back on the meetup comedy thing, this is just, just like. I it was, is. They do a I ton was, of those things around the country. So I was um, checking out some stuff on the internet, and um, Steve Martin is doing. Have you heard of this? Mm-mm. He's teaching classes um, on the internet how to be a comedian. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I see that. Yeah. I saw it today. We should take some of those. Who? Maybe yeah, I should take some. No, oh, he's funny. I need him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, is he charging? Um, I don't know. I didn't really look into it, I, but I listened to his spiel, like on, and it was it was it was awesome. I thought it was actually 
going to be a, comedy, a reality show. Oh, wow. But it's not. And he really teaches people how to be a comedian. No kidding. In all aspects and facets. Aspects and facets and facets and facets. He is freaking funny. Right? Steve, well, I think uh, I always him. found him... I kind of found him like Billy Crystal. I always found them so much more yep. funnier in movies as a comedic actor than an actual comedian. He was funny, there's no doubt, and so was Billy. But it's just like I found them funnier as comedic actors than actual comedians. What was the movie like, he was like in Jim where Carrey. they were scamming all the old women, the women in France or somewhere? It was him? And oh, uh, uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Dirty Rotten. I love with uh, <laughs> Michael Caine. Yeah, love him. Great movie. Great movie. Anyway. Those guys were fantastic together. Oh my gosh. I, I wish they did their scoundrels too. I do too. They were talking about it, but for some reason, I guess whatever their schedule was, they just couldn't do it. But they were talking about it because it was so successful. He so was funny. fantastic. That was probably one of my favorites. Good dog girl. So, I know. Well, that's what you do when you're making out with my dog. Look at that. All right, so we've she talked left about... Phone, she left me a phone number. That was weird. <laughs> we've talked about why we should go back with our exes or not. Or not. Or not. Mostly not. So we're going to do something a little different tonight. We're going to ask each other uh, some questions. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. And we're going to have to answer. You only get one mulligan. So one mulligan meaning that you can only, if there's a question you're not comfortable okay. with, <laughs> you say, I'm already uncomfortable. You know, mulligan. All right. All right. Who's going first? So what else? Ladies should, first. Should we have like some sort of right to passage? No. Like if you don't want to answer it, you have to Just pass it. it on to me. Just do it. Should we have one mulligan and one pass? All right, one mulligan, one pass. Like one that. mulligan, one pass. So pass to the other person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Okay. Okay. You're first. Ladies, ladies first. Always ladies. No, no. Always ladies no, first. Always ladies I first. I did all this, so you're first. Ladies first. Ladies have to go first. I'm gonna so be I'm gonna be scrutinized by the internet. No, you're not. They're not that bad. Come on. Just pick one and read it. All right. What does the perfect female body look like from head to toe and everything in between? Ooh, that's an easy one. Uh, <laughs> huge <laughs> double E knockers. And that's all we need to say. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> starts, obviously we go to the top of the hair. I like long. Is it physical or like just physical? It, just right. from head to toe. Okay. Everything in between. Go ahead. So you said everything in between. Alright, long So it starts with I like long dark hair. Mm -hmm. Really my favorite. Love long, long dark hair. Alright, I'm oh. out. Brains. Is that kind of thing is the brains? Gotta have a really good brain. I want her to be very intelligent because I'm a moron. We gotta have that yin and yang. <laughs> um, soft eyes. I don't need to be I don't need to be blue or red, but just nice eyes. Matt's in. Hey Matt, we were just, um, Corey got his first question about... Good teeth. Describing his perfect woman. Here's, right? what, here's well. Teeth? Not, but not too well. Choppers? Good choppers? Good choppers. Um, doesn't speak English. <laughs> Very What important. language though? Of choice, I would French. say. French. Oh. Really? What about Brazilian? I think no, Brazilian. French. I like French. Really? Okay, go ahead. Um, so, brunette, good choppers, brain, and French. Good knockers. What color eyes? Uh, I would go with like light, light brown. Oh, yeah, like root beer eyes. Yeah, hmm. light brown is nice. Um, so go with dark hair, and then um, good knockers. You, know, you said double E's. No, I like a solid. He's D. a breast guy. A solid, a solid D. That solid works. D, but firm and high. Yeah. Fake though, they'd have to be fake. No, some, women have some solid D's on them. No, they don't. For how old are they? Like eighteen? Yeah. Right. 16, whatever, I don't know, this is not going to ask <laughs> questions. As long as you have ID to prove 18. She's got to be legal. That's all that matters. All right, so go ahead. Uh, nice little stomach, you know, doesn't have to be what washboard. she has a little pooch? That's okay, it doesn't have to be washboard, but just a nice stomach, you know, because the boobs and the stomach make each other, because if the, if the stomach's out a little too far and the boobs are like the same thing, mm -hmm. then you have to have the boobs out a little farther than the stomach, that's what you have. I thought the bigger boobs you had, the skinnier you looked. No, the boobs make it look a little, look a little barrel chested. That's why we got actual reduction because it, you know like the small. Oh yeah. All right, go ahead. <coughs> nice little stomach and then Some, nice little apple ass. apple ass. Got a what? little, got yeah, a little bubble. Yeah, but apples are little. Yeah, but I don't need it too big. A little bubble, just as long as it comes out a little bit and gaps. You just want to <laughs> smash it in the face a little bit. That's all you want. <laughs> Fuck, it's not flat. Right. It's like you don't want flat. a rest of beer on it. Calves, good calves. I love nice calves. Really? Well defined calves. Doesn't have to be like they don't have to be like grapefruits or anything. Just well defined calves is good. 
And, then, about, and then cute little toes. You toe sucker? Mm-hmm. And about <laughs> like about like five five. That's so gross. About five five. Oh, five five. About five five. Not too tall, not too short, right? Enough right, to right, curl right. inside. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. Manly right, right. hot. Oh, and these big giant arms. Yeah, he's just can suffocate her if I really don't like her. I don't like her. Awesome. And then that's it. Wow, head to toe. There you there go. There you go. Measure head to toe. Hey, though. Head to toe. There you go. Here, now oh, you gotta reach no. up because I don't want you peeking in there. <laughs> no, put it down. No, no, no. I'm no. not peeking, but I have to probably put my glasses on to read this. Here, I'll read it for you. Okay. What do you like most and least about your own appearance? Ooh. That's a tough one. That's ah, a tough one. Oh, that's on top. All right, what do you like? All right, go ahead. All right, so, um, I like to eat. I'm Italian. So I got a little poochy stomach. Okay, that's all right. I totally do. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'm like, you know, if you're on a date or we're like in the bathtub or we're like in bed and you have food anywhere nearby, I'm going to love you. See, now here's my thing, just to try to interrupt you. <laughs> but getting back to my little stomach thing, as I told you, you don't have to have a washboard and you still have a little pooch. An actual pooch can be very cute and very sexy as long as it's kind of like you work yeah. out and it's a little tighter pooch. So That's I work, very attractive. I work it, out I like, like that little kind of curve. Because right. like, if it curves down nice into the old good area, yeah. oh, that's nice. That's a happy trail. Oh, yeah. yeah. Little, that's not a trail. That's a guy. Uh, it's no, just, it's, it's still a trail. Unless you're Italian, there is a trail. It's still a little trail. It's not a trail. It's it leads called to trail. happiness. Let's just say no it's a gateway. Let's call it like gateway. the guy who takes his tongue down there. I, I know. But let's call it a gateway, not a trail. The okay, guy has a trail, you have a gateway. Gateway. Much so, I'm like big on the whole... How about Tom and Matt? Do you guys have hey, any... Hey, Tom. Uh, hey, Matt. Do you guys have any preferences as far as the female body, face? What do you like to see? What do you like, what do you don't like? Throw it out there. We were talking about me. I know, but I was talking about those guys. Out, so, while they, they can write yeah, in. What what is, yeah, write in and tell us. Okay, please. so you have a little pooch. Which yeah, is, that's... Not your, not your favorite thing? Is that what you're saying? Well, you know, it's not my favorite thing, but I embrace it. There you go. Well, then, but I, then you I, can't so be your I worst work thing. out... Five to six days a week. Then you just like the most. You used to like five it. to six days a week, but I will not give up food or wine because I'm Italian. You can't do that. That's like going. To, that's like saying you're not going to go to church. Oh, so is that the, that can be the least? If you still like it, that can't be the least thing you like. No, it's the least thing I like. All right, what's the I'm best just thing you like? What the best thing I like? Um, it's a toss between my eyes and my teeth, my chappas. You like your teeth and your chappers? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just, uh, you know, I'm good. I'm just totally good with myself. All right. Then you love yourself. Yeah. You love yourself all the no. time. No. Well, everybody should love themselves, no matter what their, you know, little idiosyncrasies are. And all right. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, the whole belly thing. Yeah. Okay. The little pooch. In the right way, it can actually be very attractive. The pooch. Yeah. As long as it's tight. Don't it's men not, want a little not, something to grab onto? Yeah, because the other thing is, that as long as it's not one of those, like, something that sags a little over your panties, as long as it's oh, tight and, it, and, the t and the panties grab it, that's yeah, a good yeah. time. That's a good time. That's a, that's it's very sexy. What that's why a lot of guys are going to over them. What? Because it is because it because shows of their stomach. Because it shows that they were fertile at one point, and it's just it's a it's a male thing. We're drawn to that. Drawn to that. Oh, so wrong. All right. Anyways, you're next. This is a short one. Oh, let's go to bed. How do you really feel about anal sex? <laughs> I love it. I am not opposed to it. Wait. Am I giving or receiving? <laughs> That's the biggest thing. I'll comment on both. <laughs> no, no access for me. Uh, but Exit only. I, I'll admit I tried. I tried okay. the little, the, she wanted the little finger thing. Oh. Wasn't me. I, but I give it a shot. That's the thing. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open to try anything. But it wasn't me. So this was a girl like, I don't know, 10 girls ago or something. It was like a long Which was last she week, tried a little, by the way. Yeah, which was like a... Yeah, two actually, weeks ago? Yeah, the yeah, twins in AC count for two. It was like a half hour. <laughs> No, but it was, uh, she tried and it just wasn't me. But you need to call them. But the, I think the other thing is just, it depends on the woman. I'm only into it if she's really into it. If it's one of those things she's like, well, you can kind of try, but I'm not, nah. Yeah. If she's like, yes, I want to give it to me, then I'm like, oh, it's hot. So if she's a regular. So if she's like into it, then I'm into it. If she's not, then it's not a big deal for me. Alrighty. That's what's hot. Wish you answered that question. <laughs> Exit only, baby. I know. You oh, suck. Oh, we lost one. Okay. How far would you go to land the guy or girl of your dreams? Oh, that's... Come on. This is like a no I get on a plane to freaking anywhere. I would. Totally. How's that easy? That's easy. Not everybody will get on a plane. Just saying. 
Did you really I want might to show that? up in a trench coat with some sexy lingerie underneath. And maybe a copy of Beaver Tales. <laughs> My book. I think that, how far would you go? I mean, like, would you... Um, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. How far would you go? Let's, let's, make, it, let's make it worthwhile. Okay. There's a guy you really like. Okay. Really, really, I mean, this guy is like, you've met him, you love him in every way, like, the guy's perfect looking, he's a great personality, the guy's perfect in every way, but he's in a serious relationship with another woman. Would you go out of your way to tell him that you liked him, because you've gotten vibes that he likes you, to see if you would leave her for you? Would you go that far? I think I would respectfully say, listen, I respect your relationship with your girlfriend, but... I'm a keeper. You need to break up with her. And come okay. Right. They, now that's going far. <laughs> now that, to me, that's going the No, far. but in all honesty, I'm choking around because you know my sense of humor. I, I would respect that relationship. I wouldn't even go near a guy that was seriously... But what if you were, like, interacting with it? Just, like, whatever. You were in, you know, no, business... I don't want to break up with someone. I don't want to break any relationship up. But, answer the question. Let's just mm. say you're in, you're involved in, like, business stuff, and you just have to get to know him. You just, you work with him over and over and over, and you just really kind of fell for this guy. He wasn't married... If he's in a serious relationship, would you still let him know that you liked him? I th if he's in a serious relationship, but, no. But he's giving indications that he really likes you. Almost like saying, if you tell me I, you like me, I'm, I'm out of this relationship and I'll go for it with you. So I would say... But he would be like one of those guys that you know he would go all in. Like he wouldn't double time and he would just leave it and come to you. Okay, the bottom line is I don't want anyone breaking up with somebody for me. Okay. They have to do that on their own. If the guy really likes me... I shouldn't even be involved. He'll break up with her, and then he'll see the light. <laughs> That's it. Very, very humble. Very humble. It's the truth. I don't... Yeah, no breakups. It's your turn. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's see the what drum the roll. disaster is. What's the dirtiest thought you've ever had? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is number one on your list. The dirtiest thought you've ever had. Well, it's just... Hey David, how are you? We're just talking, um, we're doing a question and answer tell all. Oh, tell all. And Corey just got the question, what is the dirtiest thought he ever had? I thought about having sex with my sixth grade nun. Shut up! Oh yeah. How do you know under the habit thing? Because she was cute. It was, was just it sixth grade? Or was it well, that was, grade. You were just finding your, like, there was your There was a nun. You were just... Really? Very cute face and like a nice that nice little body. Like you, you can tell. Like, no, you cannot them. tell. They're in a they're in like a schmata. So you could see they're they're like they were. You know the, the thing hangs down and it's like a. Whoop. There's no way you can see. But, and you, no. Because, well, because it, 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 it. Do you remember the flying nun? You could, I would have banged her. I would have banged <laughs> Sally Field right there and there. Well, that was Sally Field. She was hot. Really? But yes, I had a, I had a big crush on this nun. I was like, I thought it was just dirty because it was like a nun. I was like, oh yeah. That's disgusting. It's nasty. It's very nasty. It's the dirtiest <laughs> I've ever had. That's pretty All bad. Alrighty, let's move on. Alright. He keeps just, lifting it up. Give it to me. Well, just stop peeking. Alright. I'm not peeking. Peeking. No. What's the most embarrassing thing your parents have caught you doing? Oh my gosh. You know what? I was such a good kid. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Vomiting all over the place after too many slew gym fizzes. Can, can this eye roll get any Seriously. longer? Seriously. It wasn't like I was like naked or like... You know, finding my happy Jennifer, ending. What was, Jennifer, what was the most embarrassing thing your parents ever caught you doing? Come on. Somebody give it up. Somebody. <laughs> David, Matt, Jennifer. Somebody. No, seriously. I mean, you know, I was a good kid. I never, you know, embarrassing. <sighs> All right, your turn. The eye roll can't last long enough for that See, one. See, I didn't get the anal joke, the anal question. All right, All right go. go ahead. At what age did you first start having sexy thoughts and what prompted them? Were you two? <laughs> you kidding me? I was in a womb like, check out that nurse. <laughs> Seriously. She was, she was doing the old, uh, you know, little thing up top there. And I was like... You're talking the ultrasound? Yeah, I was like, I was doing one of these to her. I'm like, yo. That is just so wrong. No, seriously. Sexy, <laughs> sexy thoughts. From when you remember. Prompted them. Did, were you in your footy pajamas, like, eyeing up the babysitter? What were you doing? I'll tell, I'll tell you what probably started it. I haven't told the story to anybody ever. Oh wait, we have a comment. Can't say on here. Oh, come on, Jennifer. Come on, Jen. Nobody's paying attention. You could tell us. Um, the Probably the first time I started having, like, thinking about it because I saw it was that in, it was like the seventh grade, I think it was, somebody brought in a dirty mag. 
<laughs> and, That's so boy. And actually, it was sixth grade. I'm sorry, it was sixth grade. Was it like Hustler or Playboy? I didn't even. I caught a quick glimpse of it, and I saw these knots. I'm like, whoa! And we all just like had had to put like our you know our shoe in front of our penis, just like cover things up. <laughs> and somebody went in sixth grade, and I looked at it. I was like, oh my god! And that was the first time I guess I'd really okay. seen boobs or whatever it was. What happened after that? You but, got but, a subscription under your. No, the sad name? the sad part is I reported it. No, you did not. And a guy got in trouble. Yeah. You're such and a it, I'm and your bus thrower. I, I was, dude, I totally, I don't know why. The I kid just, get, like, suspended? I mean, I don't know exactly what happened, but I thought, see, I guess I was trying to do, like, the old... Catholic school? Or I was public? trying to do the old thing, like, we both went to bank, and then he shot somebody, and we ran out, and we went to the safe house, and we got busted, and he started talking to the cops, and I'm thinking, well, <laughs> if I talk first, I get out of it, I get, like, a little jail time, and he's going to go the rest of his life and get the, and get the chair. I totally thought I was going to get, like, crazy. ripped in front of my parents, because my mom is brutal. My mom... We've already talked about him. She would ground me if I sneezed wrong. mom would let him go to spring break. She was an Italian mother who just kicked my ass. So I was like, I'm getting out of this early. So we, it was like, it was like five of us. And there was the dirty bag. And I was like, I'm not the one that's going down for this crap. Because I didn't bring it in. Corey out. So I was like, I came back and something started. I think the teacher knew something. And she pulled me aside and I was like, it was somebody else. (laughs) (laughs) I was was such a dick. I was like, somebody else. Me. 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 Somebody over there, the dirty bag. And I totally sold the guy out, and it was like I didn't say who exactly it was. I just said there was a bunch of us there. It wasn't me. And then I guess the teachers started figuring out, and they they figured it out. So, but that's my first time. But I after that day, those there, I saw this girl's boobs. It was like this spread thing. It was like it wasn't you didn't see vagina. Right. You just saw boobs, and it was like I was hooked. It was like that's these why giant he's large the knobs man. that were just. She had she had boobs till Tuesday. I mean, it was just like it was insane. She says tits and tails. Tits and tails. She was tits and tails. It was it was all kinds of. Oof. Mm. That, was, that, that was explains it. why you're a boob man. I think that was it. All right. Go ahead. My question: If you could make one wish right this second, what would it be? You're not gonna like this. You wish my dick was bigger. <laughs> No, that wasn't. He's this close that to greatness. Was, that wasn't my wish because I've never seen it and I don't want to see it. Oh, you see it. But you want me to make the wish for when you, you. When you nap, I put it right on you. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Put it in your nostril. Yeah. So, uh, it's just wrong. <laughs> my one wish. No, serious. So, this is a serious answer. Okay. I want to make out with David Beckham. No, I'm this kidding. Is, oh. No, he's hot. Oh my god. Yum, yum. No, it actually would be world peace. I know it sounds like uh, totally wrong, but we, 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 our like, world is like... You put like a billion people out of jobs. And then I'll make out with David Beckham. <laughs> How about that? He's scrumptious. Mm. Yum, yum. What? It's your turn. turn. I don't want to say. Yes, you have to hold your own thing. Alright, would you make out with David Beckham? Yes! <laughs> Wow, this is a pretty good one. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to attract a crush? See, I am so shy around women. I really am. No, you're not. I so am. I've seen you in action. I flub lines. I'm like, don't you dare to spit up on you. <laughs> no, I just, he doesn't. But I, what the, what's the... I've seen you all. How do I your get... your peacock feathers up and... All be cocking? Um, wow, that's a great question. What if I... What's the craziest thing you've done yeah. to... Like flowers or... Oh, man. That's really good. I don't know if I'm going to have a quick answer Did you that. throw Skittles from, remember the Super Bowl commercial? Oh. The girl's up in her bedroom and the guy's throwing Skittles, Skittles. and everybody's catching them in their mouth. The mom, the grandma, the kid. I honestly, that's the thing. It's like, I, most of my relationships, they kind of made, I, I'm very shy about the first move. I'm really bad about it. No that. say anything movie with the, no, never with done. the music? Oh, that would be, I'd be done at that point if a guy did that. Like outside my window with I think, my favorite I think song. the most imba- I think the most of the time I, I went way out of my comfort zone was when I was a lifeguard and I was sixteen I thought I was the ship. But I, I was still very timid around women. But this was this nanny came it was really one of those Swedish nannies. Like it was like the right out of the stereotype it was in our it was in my where I where I was lifeguarding at this little club that I belonged to. And this Swedish, she was, I mean, literally head to toe. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, big knockers, great I mean, she had everything, literally. She what was happened? right out of a magazine. She literally walked out of a magazine, right out of a porn thing, whatever you want to say. was insanely hot. And I figured I, I would have killed myself. I didn't at least try to ask her. How I had to Terrible. <laughs> it was awful. I went up to her. 
She was very nice. I was very nice, and I said, "Would you like to go to the museum with me?" That was the best oh, thing. Oh That was the only thing I get out of my mouth. She wanted to go in the woods with you. Yeah, not it's the like to go to the museum, and she's like, "Ah, oh, she's like, I'd love hey, to, but I'm, she's like, I'm, I'm busy oh. this weekend, oh. and I never tried again." And then she ended up, she ended up banging this guy Scott, who was like the like hot guy in our whole thing, and I knew I didn't have a chance. But I figured I had to try. And her sister was hot too. But then I figured, well, I already asked her out. Now he's going to tell her sister, he's going to ask you to the museum, so just tell him no. He's in an intellectual, he's in an artsy mode, don't get into that. I so don't he's, see you that way. I would, oh, I told, and I just, I flubbed the line, I was so nervous, I'm just like, hey, you want to go to the museum or something? She was just like, okay, listen, doofus, I am not going anywhere with you. Because I was like drooling, was like a, and my eye was like, ah. I would have went to the museum with you. I would, I, it was nice, right? The museum was kind of soft, like, let's go. Look at naked women together, you know? I thought that was a nice thing to do. And naked sculptures, and you can see David with his schlong or something, everything's a good time. Like soft porn. You see dick, I see soft boobs, porn. everybody's happy. Right? And then we go to a little lap afterwards, and yeah. Well, then, like, and then you take her to cheerleaders downtown. Then we'll go play checkers naked, whatever. I mean, something nice. Yeah, a little strip poker. But yeah, I don't think I've ever done it. I'll have to think about that. But that's like the craziest thing. I, it's your turn. Oh, Doof. I was trying to. Would you stop peeking? Oh, boy. I'm not peeking. You're such a peeker. All right. What's the most number of times you've ever <laughs> nice, this is good. had my way with myself within one week? Oh, um, a lot. I know my daily record. I know that for damn sure. A lot? A lot. <laughs> In one week? Uh, In one week. It, um, it depends on what time of life you're talking about. I'm going to say the range is somewhere between 5 to 10. That's it? In a week? Twice a day. Remember, I'm a single mom. I got a dog. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with you. It takes me like four and a half hours to get there. You know, I'm never, right. gonna, I'm never gonna give up the real number. Five to ten times. All right, fine. I'm just gonna use the average. Let's say... Five to ten. Nine. Nine, all right. Nine <laughs> works. What's your favorite go-to move for getting attention from the opposite sex? Duh. What do you think of that? <laughs> what up? No. <laughs> yeah, what up? What am I, Joey Tribbiani? No. What I, um, what flowers. 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 No, to get attention from the opposite sex. What do we your comedy routine. Yeah, I mean, humor. I right, just get to the humor. Not oh, do my comedy. I can use I'm not going to sit there like, hey, listen, two Jews walk into a bar. No, I'm going to, I'm just going to use humor to get their attention. Oh, no, who says that comedy is... You know, to tell him a joke. It's I do flowers on a date. I do like flowers, candy, little gift. I do that on the date, yeah. but to get their attention, yes, I would use comedy, some kind of such a humor. You know, I love a funny guy. Why don't I like you? I know, it's disgusting. It's, it's really bad. a guy. I'm like, that's one of my number high. one characteristics in the guy. High, it's a funny guy. Because you're high on crack, go. <laughs> I like the funny guy. I don't like you. <laughs> okay. What is the first thing you do if you woke woke up one day and you were the opposite sex? Oh, you know you'd fucking crank it. You know you would. I would totally have sex. Yeah, of course. And you'd then, love to bang and then your chick. I would love to hold, hold, hold it. Be. I always have to squat. That's an awesome. We would squat all the time, but it would be awesome. I'm gonna go bang your chicken pig, Sammy. Yeah. Up. See? Absolutely. And that's what you get to do every day. That's it. That's it. I live your fantasy every day. <laughs> I love it. Almost every day. All right, let's see this. Oh. What three adjectives best describe your penis? <laughs> I love these questions. That's why I'm the producer of this show. Aggressive. Ooh. Uh-oh. Like, okay, I'm, you don't have to expand on that. Antagonistic, I think, too. <laughs> That's still aggressive. It just sounds angry to me. It's like it pisses people off. It does. <laughs> it's aggressive, antagonistic. And, uh, always willing. Wow. Just... He's a pleaser. Yeah. He's a party pleaser. Really? Yeah. So you have no, like, what do you call it? You have, must have a name or some. What do your women have a name for your... Uh, they, they, they nicknamed it Get the Hell Out of Me. I think that's what they nicknamed it. I don't know. They, that no, do they name it, like, uh, give it a name? No tip drill. <laughs> do they give it some kind of name? Come on, like little Charlie. Yes, they give it. They give it a name. It says you need to buy a Porsche. That's what they give it. That's what they named it. Give me your credit card. You need, you need time for a Corvette, buddy. Good luck. All right. Oh, that light is killing me. I'm blinded by, by the, the light. light. Queen. Right. 
What sexual activity do you oh. consider totally off? I know that one. Brutal. Yeah, no anal. Exit only, baby. Just weak saying. Weak question, weak question. There's plenty of other things you can do with other parts of the body. That's just unnecessary. All right. It's just blowing me off. At what age did you first inspect your private parts and how did you feel about them? <laughs> I'm sure you felt freaking great about them. Were you scared? Do you remember the first time you I like... I really inspected it? I, like, I don't think today. Do I, I still have a very distant relationship with him because he's just... I don't want to get too close because I might fall in love. You told me that if you could do yoga and have your like face in your pants, you'd be the happiest guy alive. No, I never want to blow myself, ever. I would never. No. Ugh. That's not what you told me on another show. Mm -mm. I said if I had tits, I would never leave the house. No, 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 no. We talked about no. self... So All right, so go ahead. Answer. Answer the question. What was it again? Oh, when did what you first age? expect? What age? I don't know. Probably like nine or ten. Scary. Do you first... remember when you I got first... scared my first erection. I got very scared. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Your mom did. It's oh, got rigor mortis. Catholic Italian mom, though. No, they're not talking about I, I had no idea. And that's the weird thing is, like, like I think the thing that really scared me. You have an older brother? When I first had my first wet dream. That's what really scared me. Uh -huh. Did you wake up crying? I, did, I was like, what the hell? I'm like, dude, something's coming out of me. Did you go, mom? I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, I'm like grinding the hell out of my pillow. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> it's like, it was coming out. It's like a dog who hunts a blanket. <laughs> oh, it was awful. Did somebody just. Right and now I can't get enough of it. And I want to share it with the world. Oh gosh, not me, please. Yeah, it'll be on. Is it my turn? It's on your pillow already. That's gross. Okay. <laughs> Upside down. I know. What do you like most and least about oh. your personality? <laughs> I had to put some clean ones in there. Ugh. What do I Boring. like most? Um, I think I'm scared of guys because I'm so like open, honest, and outgoing. I scare people. Like I can tell it like it yeah, is. Yeah, that's that's their reaction. What is that's it? You, what you I have like. to say what no. you don't like about yourself. No, it says like, it said like or not like, right? And what you like least and most. About your personality. What you the, like the most personality and least. Your personality turns some guys off. Is that what it is? I like what most about my personality is. It's just I just I'm a free spirit. I'm, okay. I'm funny. <laughs> I gotta go. With the, I just like seeing the best in people, and I I I, I love who I am. <laughs> what I don't like. I'm such a procrastinator. Oh my god. Procrastinator? Okay. Yeah, okay, totally. There you go. That's, no, that's totally good. a procrastinator. But I try to like make up for that procrastination with a little bit of, you know, the good stuff mixed good with stuff. the bad stuff, the good stuff. Like, you know, procrastinating is not a, you know, it's sort of like, I can't explain it. It's just not going to work well here. But I, I, yeah. That's my, that's my one pass. No. So he gets can't one say it. mulligan. You get one mulligan. You can't and say one pa it. You can't no, say a pass is. means I have to answer it. No, I didn't pass. I said I just mulliganed it. So I just no, nobody nobody says what it was. Oh. Nobody says what it was. That's your mulligan. Yeah. Nobody says what it was. Oh my gosh! I could totally answer that. You should have passed it. So you have a mulligan and a pass. A mulligan means nobody, nobody answers it. it. Right. A pass means the other person. So <laughs> there you go. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done in front of a mirror? Probably my act. Really? Because I'm, yeah. I mean, everybody says, like, do you do it in front of a mirror? And normally I don't. I don't ever do my act in front of a mirror. When I first started out, I did to kind of see my facial expressions. So the weirdest thing was I had to do my act to myself in front of a mirror. When I first, I don't do it anymore, but I did do that, and that was very weird. I didn't like myself. I didn't if like I watching myself. If I had a camera and could see him do that in front of a mirror, I would... <laughs> now that's comedy. There you go. Is it my turn? Oh, yeah, I haven't passed or... Um, I have not passed or mulligan. What's the biggest secret you've ever kept from your parents? Ooh. I'm about losing my virginity. I mean, that's a pretty simple answer. What? You had a kid. <laughs> no, losing my virginity, like, way back when, the first time I had sex. I was not going to tell my parents. I yeah, but they, 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 know the, they know the secret's out now, so what, what secret have you still kept? No. No, there's no, no time. Did you have sex in bed or something like that? I still wouldn't tell my mother who I lost my virginity to. Not even now. Italian Catholic mother? When did you lose your virginity? No way. She still thinks I'm a virgin. When did you, when did you lose your virginity? 18. You? How old were you? I don't remember the exact age, but I know there was a crossing guard involved. That's all I remember. <laughs> so, like, were you under 10? No, I, and all I remember is the second time was the crossing guard. Were you five. under 10? Yeah. 
And then there was like, uh, there was that one girl, and that was a lot of pressure because it was recess, and we had to get in for the bell. No way. Oh, man, Are you kidding me? There's no way. Ew! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass that to you. Oh. No, that's not allowed. I'm kidding. What would you guess your parents' favorite sexual position is and why? Well, they're, um... Yuck. Ugh, they did it twice, my brother and I. Yep. And, uh... Um, blindfolded doggy style. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even think of this. I'm gonna say... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh no. I have to be respectful. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't want to do it. <laughs> doggy style? <laughs> I'm just guessing. Missionary I doggy. I don't know. I'm, I, that is so wrong. I should have been able to pass. I know you should. Alright, so you only have a mulligan. I should take what a mulligan. Did you say doggy style? Did you say doggy style was yeah, a favorite? Yeah, I was kidding. I don't know. You have to say something. I just don't even it. think about them you having sex. You have to say sex. something. You have to say something. Alright, missionary. It was like okay. in the 60s. What the hell? Oh, what would you change about your life if you could? Hmm. Not dating all those hookers. Yeah, that would probably be a good change. The twins in AC. The twins, that was bad. Twins in AC. Was bad. Once, once pregnant, moving back to Guatemala. That's bad. Twins. Bad. I heard trips. I think it's trips. Yeah. I heard trips. I think it's quadruplets. <laughs> all these little Corys are running around. She's quintuplets. We moved to Canada. <laughs> um, what would you change about my life? I mean, uh, I'll tell you what I change about my life. Oh, we're gonna get serious. If. Well, it'd be one or the other. Either have my parent, my, my dad not have dementia, and my parents Aww. living together and live a lot longer, or have all four of my grandparents live way past what they did. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I would, that, would, that would totally be, I would, that would be the first, one of those two things I would change. I would love to have my grandparents back. <sighs> I missed that so many years, because you're so young, and you're like, you never want to hang out with them, but as you grow old, you realize all the wisdom and all the stuff that they have, and... So my grandfather and I definitely hung out a lot on my dad's side, and my grandmother and my mom's side we hung out these but I never got to really know my grandmother, my, both my mom's parents died uh, before I was even in the fifth grade, which oh. sucked. So I didn't really get to know so them all that well. So you back, yeah. Well, my grandfather on my dad's side, at least I got through him, and like, he didn't die until I was in college, but my grandmother got Alzheimer's when I was like in high school, so didn't really know her too well. But my grandfather, we knew each other a lot, but I just never, I would love to know my grandfather on my mom's side. He apparently like saved my life one time, so I really would love to meet him. How? My mom was about to beat the crap out of me, and he grabbed her arm, like literally a mid-slap, and grabbed her arm. And he said these words, I'll never forget, my mom's like, I, he's never said this in his life, he says, the harder you hit that kid, I'll hit you ten times harder. So don't touch my grandson. And he grabbed me and brought me in to the little family room. And I, he was like, ooh, you could have protected me. And I was like this, I was like, my mom was like, mm. <laughs> It was awesome. Was that like an Italian mom kind of beating thing? Oh, she was ready. I Did know, she have a brush? I forget what I was doing. But I, was like, I know I all was, the I Italian was like moms. Playing with like my cars on this like this really nice tabletop or something, and she told me not to do it. And she grabbed my arm. And she literally put her hand back, and she was gonna smack my back. You just like one of these like wow. grabbed it. Wow. I was like, Don't you dare hit that kid! Like anytime, you, however hard you, hit, hard you hit that kid, I'll hit you ten times harder. Hey, will you stop peeking at the stuff? There's only two left. All right, so grab, so grab the. I'm so glad they didn't. She didn't. She wouldn't have killed you. She would have, she would have left for No, there's three left. Okay. We're going to speed it along. Three What's left. the grossest thing that comes out of your body? That's you, dude. <laughs> Pass. Easily my jizz. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> it's great. That's the grossest thing. I don't even like it myself. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've done when you were alone? The weirdest thing I've done when I was alone. Wait to hear this one. I mean, I talk to myself an awful lot. An that's awful it? Lot. I know. I don't know. That's not, that's probably that's pretty garden variety stuff. But that's bull. I know. I can't think of it. the weirdest thing. Like, I've done have I've you ever been naked doing weird things? Have you had sex? I walk around naked a lot. I do that. I don't okay. care. Uh, that's just not. Right. I know. It's We're disgusting. gonna move on. All but right. I don't remember doing. Anything. I don't remember doing weird. I'm thinking about that one too. That's a good question. Oh, there's two left. Two left, so go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. What time of day do you feel most aroused and what do you usually do about it? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like a nooner person. You're most aroused at noon? Like around, you 
Yeah. Was it news of noon turn you on? Oh, oh look at that fire. I'm torn. I think five I'm, alarms. I think I'm between six a.m. and like twelve, like sort of when like the morning. Was when the morning. um, you know. When the sun rises, so do you. <laughs> you know when the people come to service the radiators. You know, they said, we'll show up between 6 and 12. Is that you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm on morning. What Definitely. do you do about it? I'm going to take a mulligan on that. <laughs> you can't make mulligan half the question. Did I tell you to invest in Duracell? If you could erase one past experience, wow. That's, oh, that's we would good, be on that. That's a good question. One past experience. Uh, one? Yeah. About 50,000. Jeez. One past experience. The hmm. first part of your life? <laughs> <laughs> From ages 20 to 30? Uh, I guess one night when I didn't tell my mom, like I didn't call her. And I came home at like 4 in the morning. Yeah. You're bad. She was like... She must have been... She was crying. Did she beat you? She was crying. <laughs> give, I would have beat you. She was crying and giving me the finger at the same time. I've never seen that. I love Italian name. moms. She was like... Ah! <laughs> I was just like, I just, it was bad. I should have called and I never, I just came What was your dad doing? Snoring? Sleeping. He didn't care. Like, oh, he'll be fine. He's a boy. He's not going to get back. My dad could care less. He was like, I'm passed out. Next morning, he's like, hey, are you nice to your mom. What did you do? I'm like, ah, oh, we made up. He's like, all right, uh, have a good day. <laughs> That's it. So did you hug her and like say, I'm sorry? And She wasn't even speaking coherently. She was yelling in Italian and American English. I don't know what the hell it was. It was and you're the only son. Cause see, I was, I was like the, I was a bad one. My sister was Mrs. Goody Two Shoes. I know she was in my, like, I love your sister, stuff. by the way. She was studying. I love her. Love she's her. Just, she That's why she got to go on spring break and go to Europe and all those vacations. I never got anything. She, oh, no. Hello, we've talked about this. It sucks. Because you're a bad boy. I am. Bad. So that's our like. That's our, that's our, that's our spiel tonight. Like, it was good. It was fun. We kind of got to know a little bit about each other. Yeah. Good questions. Nobody chimed in, so I'm hoping that you said Well, Jennifer would have, but she's too shy. She is shy. And Terrible, Jennifer. So, secretly, send me some emails secretly. or text messages and tell me your thoughts on some of the we questions. We do anonymous. Yeah, text her and we'll do anonymous yeah. next time. We'll, we'll, we'll get do some anonymous. Results. Come on. Let's do it. Synonymous. So, anonymous. tonight.